Hello everybody, my name is Ilya. And my name is Tyler. Together we make up Kavre, a couple that loves to play board games. And today we'll be teaching you Romy Rami. Boom! Romy Rami. Romy Rami is a two to four player card game designed by Antoine Lefebvre and published by Randolph, who helped sponsor this video. Let's head on over to the table and learn the game. As always, you'll begin by setting up. You'll shuffle both the number cards and contract cards separately. Four contract cards and six number cards will be drawn and placed face up in the center of the table, creating the market. The trophy tokens are double sided. You'll toss them on the table. The sides they land on will be the trophies you're competing for in this game. Each player will then be dealt three number cards and a joker token. The youngest player will obtain the first player token and you're now ready to play. The goal of Romy Rami is to score the most points. You'll do this by fulfilling contracts, claiming trophies, and obtaining sued bonuses associated with different contracts. The game takes place in turns. Turns consist of three steps. Let's go over them. Step number one, you'll take up to three number cards from the number market with a common characteristic, either the same number or the same suit. Here are a few options of cards you can take here. Remember the most cards you can take is three, but you can also just take one. Step number two, Fill one or more contracts in the contract market. To fill a contract, you must fulfill the requirements of the contract card. Contracts will ask for a set of the same numbers or consecutive runs. If there is no arrow symbol, the contract requirement is a set of the same numbers. The arrow symbol indicates a run or a card sequence. This contract, for example, asks for a sequence of four consecutive numbers. The only other contract you'll see is a specific pair. If the number is in the cards, the pair must be of that specific number. Now you must fulfill the entire contract. Many contracts have more than one requirement needed in order to be fulfilled. Now you also have a joker. You may use your joker once a game to take place of any card in a contract. The joker is returned to the box after it's used. If it's not used, it'll provide an extra point at the end of the game. Now the suit doesn't affect the specific contract requirements, but it does matter. After fulfilling the contract, you'll first add it to your scoring tableau. You'll then take a look at the suit bonus of the contract. Any cards with that suit used to fulfill this contract will be placed in a face down pile next to your scoring tableau. Each card here will count as one point at the end of the game. The other cards used to fulfill the contract will simply be discarded. Now as a note, fulfilling a contract is optional. You may hold on to your cards for a better contract. Last, step number three. Refill the markets and check your hand size. You'll refill the contract market back up to four cards and the number market back up to six. In your hand, you must have at least three cards and at most 10. If you have less than three, you'll draw up to three from the number deck. And if you have more than 10, you'll discard down to 10. You'll keep playing, taking turns until a set number of contracts is completed by one player based on your player count. Five contracts in a four player game, six in three, and seven in a two player game. When this happens, the game is finished at the end of the current round, ensuring that every player has an equal number of turns. You're now ready to score. You'll first award the trophies. Trophies are awarded to players who have the most of each trophy requirement in their scoring tableau. You'll compare and compete to have the most card combinations and or specific suits based on the trophies currently in play. Once you're awarded the trophies, you'll tally your points. You'll add up points from your trophies, your contracts, suit bonus cards, and one point if you haven't spent your joker token. The player with the most points wins. And that's Romy Rami. Thank you so much for watching our how to play video of Romy Rami. If you have any questions, drop them in the comment box down below. We'll do our best to answer them to help your experience. And if you wanna learn more about the game, you can hit some of those links in the description down below. If you like this video, of course, make sure to give us that thumbs up, hit that subscribe button if you're new here because we make weekly board game content and we hope you learned how to play this game and enjoyed it yourself. If you had a good time, let us know in the comments down below. We'd love to hear about your experience. Until next time though, bye.